Hey, I'm on the edge of my seat here, back again with another brand new video, and here is a familiar scene. It looks a lot like Yakuza 0, but we're playing Roblox 0 here, so the characters are different, the kind of dynamics are different, and also I'm playing on a harder difficulty setting, I'm playing on Legend, so when you're playing on hard, you can pretty much have all your upgrades all at once, but since on Legend, Yakuza 0 is a very unique game in that sense, and Roblox 0 shares a lot of the same similarities with Yakuza 0 in that... Uh, the other games, you could do New Game Plus on Legend, but in Roblox Zero, you cannot do New Game Plus on Legend. So, you can't enter this fight with, like, your Beast style or with your Legend style. You just have Brawler, you have Rush, and also you can't really upgrade past the grid because you can only unlock the grid in the side business content, which only unlocks in, like, Chapter 5 for Kiryu and Chapter 7 for Majima. So before you get to that point, you can't get your Legend style and you also can't get the upgrade which go beyond the little grid you have. However, uh, I did not replay this entire game to get all my upgrades back. I instead just I took a couple save files from people who are already beaten the game and kind of 100%ed it. So I was able to get infinite money, and with that infinite money, I got every single upgrade possible at this point, and those upgrades are what you see on screen. So I'm, I'm pretty limited right now. I'm doing for very, like... Uh, kind of, you know, laid back tactics, kind of, you know, do a combo here, do a combo there, do heat actions, and also I'm, I approach this fight with low health, and also this is a boss fight at the end of a level, so every time I lose this boss fight, I have to repeat the entire level over again, and there are certain moments in this game where I was kind of going insane because of that, I do not like that legend difficulty because I'm the type of person who likes to slam their head against the wall, and this does not allow me to slam my head against the wall as effectively. It's a very ineffective way to slam my head against the wall when and I'm slamming my head against multiple walls on the way to the wall I want to slam my head against. It's just kind of giving me brain damage to the point, like, it's like the things which are giving me brain damage are not the things I want to be struggling with. I want to be struggling with the thing at the end of the road, not the thing along the road. It's, it's a very frustrating process, and, like, I mean, Legend does have other things to it besides, you know, that arbitrary like game over thing it has stuff like you know increased enemy aggression sometimes higher health bars but to be fair i think they stopped doing that like after yakuza 3 because yakuza 3 went a little bit insane with how much health boss fights had and how little damage you dealt like it wasn't really that the boss fights got more health it's that you started dealing less damage uh i can't wait to play uh roblox 3 though because i hear that it keeps all those things i like how i throw oda here at the, at the table and the table just straight up disappears that is very very cool and also, I just gotta say, uh, negative shout-out. This is a negative shout-out never done before on this channel. It's like a shout-out, you know, kind of like when I shouted out the Homonoru the homo no, ro, no Ryu, like, Discord channel, which is kind of like this hub for no damage players like myself. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to that Discord channel in the description because it did help me quite a bit with no damage tech. I want to give a special shout-out to Pius Lee because his Yakuza 0 videos are still some of the best I've ever seen to this day. He is such a GOAT when it comes to Yakuza gameplay. Oh, this is a really funny thing. So, uh, the beast style, if an enemy hits you while you're blocking, you can kind of do this heat action. However, when you do that, you take damage. However, if you block while holding kind of like a weapon or like, you know, furniture, and the furniture breaks, it will count as being hit, you know, by the by the enemy, but you won't actually take damage from it because it's just the thing that broke. You didn't actually get hit, but you could still do that sick heat action. That's how I was able to end the fight like that. Now, Roblox Kiryu, he is the main protagonist, but now here we have this big ass cat. What? This is a new character. It's actually a prequel to the Majima saga. Now, Majima... He had multiple wives throughout the Yakuza and Roblox series, and it's it's his grandfather, a big ass cat. Yo, this is insane. I, I love this game. There's no wonder people consider Zero still one of the best Yakuza games in the series. Like, it's just stuff like this. And okay, to be fair, this dynamic intro goes on for a little too long. To be fair, it, it gets weird because like Majima's first like boss fight has this really long dynamic intro, and then Kiryu's, like, well, a boss fight which happens later in the game is the other one with a huge-ass intro. Though, to be fair, like, that other intro has a lot more going on than this one, and it at least is like, framed a little bit more interestingly. Oh, yeah, but besides shouting people out in positive context, I want to bring up a negative context, so... Oh, my goodness. So, I had it written down in my notes, however, my phone locked itself, and now I have to put in my password, which I will not say on the silver screen... So, negative shout out to Taku Iwa Iwasaki. Now, this is what I believe to be the composer of Election, which is 
uh, a song on which on this anime, which I don't know the name of. However, I heard the song because I think a review said that it sounded sick, and I was like, hey, let me go, let me go listen to it. I listened to it, and I was like, yeah, that is sick. And that was like seven or eight years ago, I think. I don't know. Like, I think there's probably a way to check how long ago that was, but I'm not gonna do that research right now. But yeah, uh, I included that song in like my first draft of this Roblox Zero video, and the video got blocked worldwide. The only time my videos have ever gotten blocked worldwide was when I was doing like my all Yakuza scenes with like the original licensed music video, which I kind of is just a compilation of like every single time of every single Yakuza scene, but you know with its original licensed music, you know, because when they were brought over in the West, like, starting with, like, Yakuza 3, they just couldn't afford the licensed music, so they just kind of went for more, they went for, like, new original compositions. And I, I, I don't know, the, the original, like, licensed songs just hold a lot of personality and give a lot of, like, weight to, like, the game's, like, most climactic moments, so it's like, you know, I didn't want those to be erased at time, and thankfully, since these games have been added to PC, that's, that's just one great way they're being preserved, because you can just mod the games to have those licensed songs back but yeah that uh, there was like one song it was like the kiwami one song cry that blocked my video worldwide but yeah this like random anime ost from like something which came out in like 2012 or 2014 that had to block my video worldwide are you kidding me like what like and no the worst part is i stayed up until like 5 30 or 6 or like no like 5 30 a.m or 6 30 a.m editing my no commentary version of the roblox zero video to be fair like i was up to like 1 to 3 a.m like doing the final boss of this game because like oh I'll, I'll talk about that when we get there but oh my goodness i was so frustrated but i was just kind of you know what i'm gonna like grind out a little bit i'm gonna get a banger out you know and then i'm gonna go to bed and yeah, I had class early, which was kind of like fucked up. And it's just like, you know, whatever. I'm going to deal with it. But no, my video gets blocked worldwide. You know what happens when my video gets blocked worldwide? It's like, oh yeah, you can like, you know, maybe YouTube can mute the video for you. It's like, no. that's I don't want my like Roblox video to be muted. It's very intentionally crafted with the music. And it's like, oh, okay, maybe you can replace it with like one of the royalty free songs. I don't want to listen through all of YouTube's royalty free songs to select another song, which was on, which had like the same vibe of that song. Like, get out of here with that. And now it's like, okay, so what I have to do is go back into, like, Premiere, like, choose a new song. That's another thing. I have to choose a song which kind of fits that same vibe. And to be fair, the video you're watching right now, I did exactly that. I chose a new song. And I do think the vibe of the new song I chose fits exactly the same vibe I had with, like, my previous, like, my, my, my first draft of this video, which I can't show you because it's blocked worldwide. Ah! A bit forced, uh, maybe maybe a bit forced, uh, but yeah, like I do not wish this man well. I hope he like stubs his toe while walking to like Dunkin' Donuts. I hope this man like trips and like accidentally like die. No, 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 no. I don't want to give out no death threats. No, no, no. Okay, uh, rewind 30 seconds back. So okay, I do not wish this man well. I hope that when he tries to reach for his wallet, he accidentally like pulls out his phone. Yeah, that, that's more like it. So yeah, I just I'm very mad about that, and I pretty much I was not going to do all that nonsense with editing because like I'd have to re-edit the video, then I have to re-export the video, then I have to re-upload the video, and it's just like that takes way too much time, and it was already 5:30 a.m. So like doing all that would have taken like maybe 20 or 30 minutes again. Also like wait for the video to be processed, wait for the video to check for like you know monetization or whatnot. Like, Ah, I just, mm, I'm mad. I'm just insanely furious about that. And yeah, I'm not really talking much about combat tech at all. I think a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. And also, I might have explained some of it in my Yakuza 0 video. Because Roblox 0 and Yakuza 0 are very similar in terms of combat system. So I think some of the tech I, I do here can be explained in that video. However, I'm also going for a very different approach from a Yakuza 0 video. Because in my Yakuza 0 video, when it came to like the Kiryu fights, I just spammed the rush thing. Because I don't know, the rush is, like pretty much Yakuza 0 is a very, very unbalanced game. And that applies to Roblox 0 as well. They are very, very unbalanced when you're fully upgraded. Like it's just kind of ridiculous. Because like there's just so much broken shit in this game. And one of that stuff is just the rush style. Because you can just kind of parry an enemy attack, kind of, you know, do a full combo behind their back, dodge cancel, and just keep repeating that over and over and over and over, and it just deals like big booty damage, like straight up. Just, wow, like, it does not end. And you know, same thing with B style. You can spam that whole like bear hug, grab them like from behind, like move over and over and over. And I mean, brawler style. I mean, it's probably like the most balanced, but it has so much like 
damage and like OP is just like, ah. But yeah, so I just kind of relied a little bit too much on the rush style in my Yakuza 0 video and I kind of wanted to mix it up here by kind of involving all the styles at some point while fighting. You know, do a little beast combo here, you know, kind of keep my rush styles like combos short, you know, kind of get straight to the point. Use a little bit of brawler and also I've installed a mod which allows me to switch to the legend style instantaneously because in OG Roblox Zero and Yakuza Zero, you have to actually like go into the pause menu to switch to the legend style. It doesn't let you like smoothly and see you cannot do that in the base game. That was a mod. I needed to download a mod to be able to pretty much switch like instantaneously between these styles. And it's just like, you know, also I have the quick I have the quick uh, change clothes for Kiryu and it's kinda weird you don't get it for Majima, though too fair. If I have downloaded if I would have downloaded the rebalanced mod for like this game, which the rebalanced mod pretty much gives the boss fights more health and also gives Majima that sick like quick change clothes. Though I the reason I didn't get it was because I'm playing on Legend and oh my goodness like at points even with like these boss fights with like really really low health they irritated the hell out of me even though they have really low health and these fights are pretty easy but because I have to repeat like an entire level to get to this very kind of easy point but I'm still trying to like do stylish stuff and we do stylish stuff it's very stylish stuff it's very easy to mess it up because you know you're being a little bit risky I'm switching styles I'm doing that weird thing with Legend and Oh yeah, another mod I downloaded was I changed the legend style from like Kiryu's uh, Yakuza 5 style to Kiryu's uh, Dragon Engine style. Now, uh, the funny thing is that the Dragon Engine style is very, very overpowered in like the in like this engine. Like it's just you know remove the ragdolls and it becomes like a far more formidable foe especially when we start like putting in those like grab combos you can like oh you're gonna see a certain combo later in this video where i just go insane and also i decided to bring out majima's knife style because i never really did that in the original video and it's just like you can't do that in kiwami 2 like in roblox kiwami 2 when you're playing as majima you can't do that movie you slash someone and you run around slash them again over and over and to be fair that movie is very overpowered but it's also like the only fun thing about like majima's knife style his combos are a little too slow a lot of his other moves like don't really feel as effective as they should like it's the slashing is what makes it so when you remove that you get a stout it just doesn't feel that much fun to play around with which is exactly what kiwami 2 did it's, it's broken at its core and you know i've complained about that a lot in a video i have referenced quite a couple times i think you know it so yeah uh the strategy here was to pretty much do the knife style and then just kind of do a couple thug combos here and oh yeah there's this con this counters yeah like yakuza zero's like gear system you know it's been a long while since we i've played yakuza zero it's been a long while since like the the public has played roblox zero or at least like in, in the public consciousness you know when it came to the west in like 2017 you know it's been a while it's been like a good three four or five years i mean hey i'll give it like five or six more years people will be asking for a dragon engine remake of this game and okay so i once okay so i heard from someone that so Kiwa the Samurai spin-offs got two games. Kuruhio got two games. Got two games. Judgment got two games. And now the Kiwamis, there's two Kiwamis. So I think it'd be really nice if like all those things stayed as like doubles. I don't know, just for like consistency's sake, I think that'd be really nice. <laughs> just like everything has two in it. Because now the next spin-off they have to make is binar binary domain two. We can finally get two binary domains, two judgments. Oh wait, there's one which still needs to... I mean, I, I was gonna say Yakuza Dead Souls, but maybe like Binary Domain and Yakuza Dead Souls could kind of be the same thing because they're both shooters, but you know, that's kind of a cop-out. Let's get Binary, Binary Domain 2 and let's get Dead Souls 2 and then let's just kind of end this duology of this like collection of duologies and yeah, <laughs> I really want to be more focused to talk about the combat, but I also don't. <laughs> I don't know, I hope uh, this is all very understandable. And yeah, like with Manjima, I'm also trying to involve more combos, like more unconventional combos. Now, the reason these combos are more unconventional is because they kind of suck ass. <laughs> uh, the bat style, just, you can't really dodge out of any of your attacks. So you're like, if you screw up an attack and like the boss fight has like super armor for a little bit, and you're just like in the middle of an attack, your animations are too slow to kind of recover out of it and dodge out of the way. You're just kind of screwed. You're going to get hit. And it's just going to be like, it's going to be very, very, very messy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the fight, which I tried to use like the election song 
wrong for. It's just like it was like for some dumb like isekai like anime. No, it wasn't an isekai thing. It was like one of those animes where like they go to high school but for superpowers and like the main character is just like super over super overpowered for no reason. It's like one of those. But like the song sounded cool. But now I've replaced it with Near Automata OST. Near Automata. I want to replay that game, but I also kind of want to play the remake of the first Near game, which I I played the first Near game on Xbox 360. Doll. I got endings A, B. Never got the ending C and D because I just never got around to collecting all the weapons in that game because it's like <laughs> and now i don't have an x well i mean my xbox 360 is actually back home but i don't have a copy of near anymore i i don't know i sold a lot of things in, a, in like a lot of times i sold my wii u which you know that's fine i sold my super nintendo which i kind of regret because i saw one at a store for like 140 dollars and i bought mine for 20 bucks so it kind of felt like a steal and now it's a steal which I don't think I can get again. But maybe if I look around in some online circles, I'll get another cool steal there. And like, uh, hmm, there's something I want to mention here. Also, I kind of want to avoid doing too many beast like style grabs, but I kind of cop out with the beast style stomps. I stomp a lot with the beast style because, man, the beast style deals so much damage with Kiryu. It's insane. Like, I mean, the whole motorcycle thing just kind of eliminated every single like opponent around me. And also, I try to get some more. Oh, and look at that! Like the motorcycle just went straight through me, but I dodged it because I started using my parry stance, going from side to side. It's very, very nice. And here, I miss a punch sometimes. It can be kind of annoying with Yakuza Zero's combat system. Is that sometimes the hit detection isn't the best? Sometimes you like do a hit and then suddenly you'll miss it. I mean, to be fair, I think you could probably apply that to a lot of Yakuza games. Sometimes your hits miss, and it's just like, man, why did my hit have to miss? And now here is a rather weird choice for a song. It's like a delay llama, which is like this audio recording thing. I don't know how to edit audio or like what like audio recorders or vcoders are. I don't know what those are. But I once saw this song while like looking up delay llama videos and delay llama. Like I looked up the Skrillex video and I came across this song and I'm like, I have wanted to include this song in a Roblox video in qu for like for so long. However, I never found a good time to use it. But here I think it fits pretty well like i don't know it, it, like i mean it's a bit out there it kind of sounds like a splatoon like a friday night funking song but you know i think it fits kind of well here look this dude's dancing this dude, this dude is also copying a fighting style from yakuza 5 and uh however i'm going to absolutely uh, annihilate this guy with the knife style just and it's just like like landing this knife style thing can kind of be random chance but once you're spinning around it's not too bad just kind of oh i mean i missed it right there but i re quickly recover with a light light heavy there very nice and hmm, i'm kind of running out of things to say in the exact moment ah so now i will move on to something completely unrelated so i think yakuza 0 has kind of lost a bit of its luster for me especially with its combat system i don't know i think after playing lost judgment like oh my goodness i mean watch my lost judgment video i talk a lot about that game and it kind of gush and also i don't explain enough about what i'm talking about because even with how long that video is i don't think i fully explain like how i feel about lost judgment I'm actually considering making a full-on like you know video about that game kind of like a kind of sequel to the Kiwami rant actually because I feel Lost Judgment kind of answers a lot of the things I was talking about in that video so uh, that is very unplanned I have no plans for it and also like I have a bajillion different video projects I have no plans f I mean I don't know I have more plans for the video project which I haven't done yet the Kanye video oh my goodness I have no notes on that I just have a bit of a ranking on there but I need to get notes on that I need to listen to like two other albums uh, that I have this I have this video idea of ranking every single movie I saw at the Chicago Film Festival like the International Chicago Film Festival uh, I have a bit of a script for that I wrote like words for two movies i have i still need to write words for the eight other movies i wanted to talk about and now here we're finding nishitani again and i'm just going to i'm trying to go for a different type of uh breaker like combo like just pretty much that one instead of like the normal one but to be fair don't worry the normal one shows up later and like okay the bat styles like their combos are random chance like that will hit sometimes sometimes it won't and now there's this spinning thing you can do with like the knife style and it's just it doesn't do much though it was really cool that i landed it and like landing it at this exact moment allowed like the qte to play out like this also really like this music it is from a 3ds game which then got ported to ps4 which i have not played the ps4 version i played it as this is actually like a uh, dream drop distance was actually my first kingdom hearts game and i played it on 3ds and i was like i like this and then i played kingdom hearts 2 and now i'm like i don't know if i want to return to dream drop distance again but now um, that's another video for another time so Hmm, what what else is there to talk about? Oh no, I can't can't oh yeah, Yakuza Zero. So I don't know, just that 
Man, that, like, that, I really should have gotten the rebalance mod. I mean, it's just, it kind of would have solved my issue with, like, these boss fights having low health bars, though, to be fair. I think some of the issues with this combat system might still be prevalent, just kind of, like, some options are just so good that it just feels dumb to ignore them, like the Beast style, Majima's Breaker style, and, hell, I mean, even, like, with the Slugger style, there's, like, that one nunchuck combo, which, to be fair, I'm going to be using quite a bit. Hell, I've used it a couple times throughout this video. It's, like, it's just hard to ignore that stuff. I mean, you can do really cool stuff. I mean, my no damage compatriots at the Homie No No Ryu like Discord channel have definitely proven that you can do really cool stuff with like Yakuza Zero. Hell, I think I've done some pretty cool stuff with the Yakuza Zero. But it's just like when you're so overpowered and you deal so much damage with like some of the more like basic moves, it's like what's the point? And to be fair, you can kind of apply that some of the other games. Like, oh, you can spam Tiger Drop some of the other games. Like, what's the fun in that? I mean, like, in this game, it's just, like, some of the stuff you can do to mess with boss fights is also pretty fun. And also, I mean, uh, why did I choose this song for Sarah? But because I thought it was funny and I was struggling with what song to use for Sarah. And here I'm trying to, like, mix it up. I'm using different counters, but I'm still mostly relying on counters. Because, like, Sarah's a very tricky boss fight. And he has this entire level, like, behind him. So I kind of want to play him very safe. Because I'm just kind of, like... Uh, I don't know, I think I'm getting tired of doing these Roblox videos. Like, I mean, I'm trying to keep it on a monthly basis, you know, like, I'll, I'll drop one every month, just kind of to keep some other videos flowing. I think it's just been a very hectic month for me in general, just like, a ton of work here and there. I have to, like, do a uh, essay here, I have to do an essay there. I have to, like, just, uh, I don't know, just the classes are about to end, we're, uh, we're reaching the second semester, and uh, it's very stressful. Oh my goodness. I do really like the way I end the fight here. Also, uh, if I, I'm just gonna, no, no, I'm not. I keep repeating that I keep keep repeating that I use, like, I talk over the music loud enough that the music doesn't get copyright claimed. But to be fair, the only two songs which get copyright claimed is this one song, which I heard from, like, GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony, like, a trailer used for that game. It's, a like, kind of the club remix I use for Okabe, and also, I think my Okabe fight is one of the best Okabe fights ever. If someone has a better Okabe fight, drop it in the description below, or, like, in the comments below. I want to see your Okabe no damages, no fights, and also your Roblox Okabes. I want to see your Roblox Okabe model dropped uh, in two weeks time from now and here i decided to bring out the sonic music and it fits a little too well like the dramatic stings fit like the sound effects which kind of put into the scene so uh roblox zero it's kind of weird because usually i turn off the music but this game doesn't have like a music setting per se it kind of has a, it has like a vfx setting but the vfx setting is just pretty much serves the same purpose as like a music slider which like the kiwami 2 and yak 6 and yak 7 have so it pretty much just turned down that like vfx like sound mode and you pretty much can turn off the music and kind of put in whatever music you want to put in and look at that sick ass intro and i wanted to use this for a thumbnail but it just it didn't fit right with the way i put text in all that so it was like ah, i was so frustrating i really really wanted to do something cool with this fight i wanted to do this beast heat action like the first time i saw this heat action ever done uh I actually don't remember the first time I ever saw this heat action ever done. It was in a uh, Kiwami 1 no damage video. It was either Dante Devil 12 or Pius Lee, which did it. But, like, once I saw that heat action, I was like, what? You can do that heat action? Like, and to be fair, at the time, I was just kind of like, oh, I'm not good enough to do that. But now, after years and years of being in the Yakuza game, I'm doing the heat action. I'm doing it in this hype-ass Kuze 4th battle encounter with the music. Yes! Excitement. Uh, communicating excitement and all that and now I think the most difficult thing about this fight is just that Nishi just keeps getting in the way like whatever cool combos you want to do Nishi just kind of gets in and knocks Kuze on his ass or grabs him and then like there's this weird thing which happens where Kuze just kind of has super armor it's like oh my god goodness oh like sometimes you need to take a break when talking I do not like um, but this time like uh usually these Roblox videos is kind of a way for me for me to improve like my previous attempts at these boss fights while also tackling them at a harder difficulty and this time i really wanted to have this kuze fight kind of breezy and like look at this i mean i get behind him i mean i, I do like the freaking boom bam knock him to the ground run behind him then do a grab combo then i pick him up with b style i missed like the b style like weapon throw that was really really sad i could have landed a big hit now, to be fair okay so like, I did a kind of a major, like, flaw with, like, my B-style, like, weapon attack because I missed it. Like, I mean, I style canceled before, like, that attack could land. However, in doing that, I sync up the music better. So, you know, it's like, it's a happy accident. I mean, sometimes, like, these happy accidents happen without me planning them. And now I'm going to end this fight with, like, a brawler tiger drop. Like, come on, let's go. And do for I, I guess I kind of spoiled that for you. Yeah, it's right there. That's how it ends. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, just, oh, so much happens. But, yeah, I don't know. Just, I think, feels kind of restrictive by Yakuza 
Texas Zero's combat system in comparison to like Lost Judgment. And to be fair, I guess it's just like you don't have juggles, you don't have four styles, like you know, four useful styles. Because I don't know the thing with like Yakuza Zero styles, they can feel pretty gimmicky. Like I mean, I don't know, like Kiryu, he has like a, you know, a, a very fast style, a medium style, and like a heavy style. But like the heavy style is like, and now here like this is kind of a weird choice of music, but I really like Fog from Lost Judgment. I use a lot of Lost Judgment music in this video. I guess that game is still very current in my mind. I really want to return to that game, but I've been too busy with studies or like doing other like no damage videos. Like I spent an entire week trying to no damage like Ken's and Amon, and I, I succeeded. Like, you know, like, eight days afterwards, I was, like, I mean, I made a video kind of describing my pain. I think you've seen it, but, like, oh, my God, I hate that. I think, like, Ken's and Amon by himself has completely convinced me to, like, just give up on trying to do the Amon's. And also, I'm going to be going back to see the fam, the family, eh, for Thanksgiving. If you have seen my Fast and Furious video, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, uh, you should watch my Fast and Furious video if you want more context to what I'm referring to. And here I'm gonna I'm gonna actually talk about something related to what's happening on screen. So Kajiwagi, he has this horrible QTE, which just like is less than like a second long, and it's like you need to have like super fast reflexes to land it. And my only strategy for dealing with that QTE was to just spam square until like the QTE just randomly happened to be square. So I was pretty much just like battling with RNG. However, uh, after this fight, I realized you can actually skip it. How I have no idea. It's sheer luck i think like what happened was i did like that kind of like breaker grab move you do where you dodge into an enemy you grab them but i did at the exact right point to where kashiwagi popped into heat mode but didn't pop a qte yet so i was kind of able to like zero cycle kashiwagi I mean, it, it, it's, it's luck like it's ve it does not look as easy as it looked i mean it, it's very hard and here i'm going to completely annihilate nishiki and when it comes to annihilating nishiki it is exactly as easy as it looks like <laughs> this guy <laughs> i mean i think it's more like it's not exactly like like Nishiki's fighting style, okay, it kind of is, because Nishiki, he were like, at least in the Yakuza 0 version, he kind of tones it down in Kiwami 1, but like in the Yakuza 0 like rendition, the Roblox 0 rendition here, he relies way too much on this group, like trying to grab you, trying to taunt you, and it makes him very predictable and also very easy to punish, like, to be fair, I think the one thing I really worried about was that like my original attempt of this fight, you know, Yakuza 0, like my hard video, I did a really cool no damage in Nishiki, and I was really, was, I was not gonna top that, but you know, I kind of decided to top, I didn't top it, no, no, like I think my like original no damage in Nishiki is better than the one I did here, but the one I did here is funnier. <laughs> like, it's, it's very easy to abuse this guy in, like, Yakuza 0, because he just, he keeps doing these attacks which barely land on you. He's just, like, he's very slow. It's just, like, it's very easy to take advantage of him. And the environment just, in, like, infant... It accentuates, accentuates. Is that the word? Like it accentuates everything about like his patheticness because like he's it's such a like close like you know like a uh, small room. There's a ton of furniture. So it's just like it, it's just. And here I'm gonna try to do a big Sakuga combo. I don't think Sakuga is the right term for it. Uh, the, a cool combo. Like look at this style switching combo, doing cool stuff. I miss something there, but then I land that there. Boom, bam. And then I'm gonna do some grab combos from the ground. Yeah, because of five tactics, which are kind of cheap, but you know, like whatever. They're cool. And then I'm gonna do a stop, dodge, heat action. Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to submit this combo for the uh, Yakuza combo collaboration, the part four video. The part three video is coming out. Someday, I, I'm sure, like my boy uh, Gunk, and I think RCC combos are doing a very great job editing that video, as were like the previous two videos. Look at that, like the rush style, boom, bam, pow. We go straight into the heat action. The music's gonna sync up perfectly. I think this is a, I did a really great job with this Kuze four fight. Though I think the one thing which kind of like annoys me about it or kind of irks me is that when I grabbed him with the beast style from the ground, he kicked me away. Now kicking him, now kicking me away doesn't act, doesn't exactly. Oh my! I'm talking so much that I'm trying to like I'm, my my speech is getting slurred. Like I should have not blown into the mic. That kind of hurts the mic a bit. I mean, I have like a mic muffler, you know. Like, I mean, it muffles the mic, but it's still blowing into the mic is still not a good, it's still not a good idea. And this ending is a little anticlimactic. However, it's also pretty awesome because it just straight up used a beast combo to just knock him straight down. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, like when I grabbed him from the ground, he kicked me away. Like, I kind of wish I did something cool. But to be fair, failing that beast like style grab made the music sync better. So it's just like all these happy accidents make the music sync better. And yeah, I don't know. I was struggling so hard to choose a theme for him. Like I originally was going to do like 
Actually, I forgot what I was originally going to do. I just put, like, it has to be this way for Metal Gear Rising, but then uh, I realized that that song fits better in another fight in this video, so I put it in that, like, that other fight. So now I'm just kind of like, dang it, what song do I put here? I decided to put Nighthawk from uh, Red Orca, which uh, Red Orca is kind of this band which, like, orchestrated, or did, like, the pretty much did boss themes, bo boss themes for No More Heroes 3. And Nighthawk is kind of like the battle, final boss theme of, like, uh, No More Heroes 3, and it sounds sick. But I really wanted to include it for, like, Laogue, but it didn't work out for him. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'll include it for Awano. It did not work out for him. So now, what song are we playing here? We're playing Crown from Kirby, a game I have never played. However, uh, YouTube, like, countdown artists, uh, I don't know if I should call them countdown artists. Like, people who make, like, countdown videos, you know, like, top 10 hardest boss fights ever. You know, like, those type of content creators, uh, they would always talk about, like, Kirby's, like, Return to Dreamland. And it made the game sound so hype, and I'm sure the game actually is hype but i don't own a wii anymore and it makes me mad ah because like the wii is so dope for some games like resident evil 4 i think the best version of that game is on the wii and like if i'm ever going to replay resident evil 4 i want to replay it on the wii with those pointer controls it just feels so nice and does it make the game easier yes but it makes the game feel better for me and it's, i love them and I, it just makes me so curious to try out uh the ps3 like gold edition of like resident evil 5 because like that has like ps move controllers though i heard they're not as good as the wii controllers which kind of makes me sad and yeah, it's kind of weird I'm talking about the Wii U and trying to fight Awano. It's like, what are the tactics when fighting this guy? Well, in the beginning, you can kind of do, do some really sick combos because he, he, you know, he blocks most of the stuff you do and he doesn't really have much super armor. Though sometimes that super armor can kind of pop in at nasty points. However, once, you re once he reaches his second phase, it's kind of best to like rely on kind of cheap, cheap, cheap tactics like you know abusing heat actions kind of doing quick step attacks because he, now he has completely full super armor and yeah it is kind of sad that oh i have to swallow a lot of saliva real quick i'm gonna try to face away from the mic so it doesn't sound like you know bad i hope that didn't sound bad but yeah as i was saying uh so yeah like i would almost reach the second phase it's just kind of like bro you do not, you can't really do combos on him. I mean, you can do counters, you can do, like, you know, heat actions, and I decided to stick to heat actions, and that pretty much ends the I want to fight. Now, Laogwe, okay, this is, like, this, these last three boss fights are insane, because they're all at the end of a super long level, and thankfully, since this, like, save file is, like, completely 100% ma like, maxed out, I can use, like, the shotgun, like, the golden shotgun and the golden pistol to kind of rush through the level, but it still takes, like, 9 to 10 minutes to get through that level, and it's just, like, you know, it's insane insane when you haven't no damage in any of these one boss fights but then like you know okay the way it happened was i no damaged awano first okay cool but i still had to no damage lagway so i had to repeat a deal the entire level over and over again just to get to lagway but only to get to lagway i had to like just kind of do the awano fight not no damage it but like you know just kind of fight him over again oh yeah that heat action can be de de devilishly quick i mean not as quick as like kashiwagi's heat action but it's just it's like the second fastest heat act like none oh, why do i keep saying heat action it's a qte it's like the second fastest QTE in the game. It's, it's really hard to like avoid and like watch out for. Like, oh my goodness. But as I was saying, so yeah, I mean, I have to repeat the Awano over and over and also repeat that level over and over every time I fail this Laogway fight. And it's very easy to fail this Laogway fight because he has these moves that kind of just like, you try to dodge around him and he just kind of has these like area of effect slashes around him. If you try to dodge behind him, it's like, it clips you. Okay. Then he has that one attack where he runs like towards the wall and he has those knives which like, just like, I have like straight up what's that thing in shooter games where like hit scan like I, like Lagway has like these hit scan knives when he gets on that wall sometimes it's ridiculous and to be fair you could you could just equip the bat and like block those knives but sometimes you're in thug style you try to dodge it and it just like does the switch straight up like curve around you just to hit you and to be fair those knives are worse than kiwami one i've seen videos of like the knife throwing in kiwami one that that's insane and now here i'm gonna do something which i it's just like i uh, I never did it in my Yakuza 0 video, so I decided to do it in my Roblox 0 video. It's like you just run around, bait out attacks, and then attack when, like, we you know once he's, like, vulnerable. Because, like, if you're trying to spam, like, the slash with Laogwe while he's in, the, in, like, in, like, his third and final phase, he's gonna dodge your attack. You kinda have to wait for him to be vulnerable. Because if you just, like, repeat it over and over, and now I kinda ran out of running meter. So now I'm gonna have a little bit of an anticlimactic end, though it's not that anticlimactic, it's kind of like a big struggle. And somehow I'm able to land a back combo, the two for the back combo is 
two hits and then i stop i dodge because if i kept going i probably would have gotten hit and it's just like it's very stressful because like imagine screwing up right now bro like, i mean i do for i've had moments like that i don't think with loud way but like i've had moments where i just screwed up like unceremoniously and i'm just like oh and also the song was not long enough to like encapsulate this entire fight but it's only like you know five or ten seconds left so you know whatever i decided to include the song anyways because it was so epic before do for like it has to be this way it doesn't really fit loud way all that well like thematically oh yeah this is the one one song which is a uh, copyright claim not like the, not copyright claim in the sense that it blocks my video worldwide but it stops monetization so i have to like always talk when talking about this fight and oh my goodness what a fight it is so yeah i think i'll actually talk about tactics with this fight so i'm gonna start the first phase off rush i'm gonna try to bait out his flying attack and he does not do his flying attack now the reason i want to bait out his flying attacks is it's the easiest one to counter you just kind of like press the count like the parry button whenever he counters like that attack is just kind of weird the timing for it just kind of messes me up but you know i landed it so i'm happy with that and like after that i kind of want to do a full brawler combo and ideally i want to be behind his back the entire time now the way you would do that is to have a lot of space between you and shibusawa when you do the parry but I did not do that. I kind of slammed like she was up against like too close to the wall Which meant like brawler kind of started going to the side when I was doing the full combo but, You know, whatever. I mean once I would do that brawler combo I would do like a beast heat action. I would grab him up. I would lift him up I would do like that little combo, you know kind of the light heavy drop kick thing And then once we're in the beast style phase, it's a kind of a weird anything goes type situation But I really really want to land this one heat action on him and the heat action is the same heat action you do on Kanda in Yakuza 3 if you uh, you know after the fight i talk about it in my yakuza 3 video it's just kind of weird the way some of the heat actions are doled out throughout the course of the game and how you'd have to pretty much replay the game to get access to some of the unique features of that game you know blah 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 watch my yakuza 3 no damage video but yeah so pretty much like the heat action i wanted to really really land was the one where i run up to him with brawler and i just kind of kick him in the stomach just kind of take his weapon away from him and now here look at that dodge it was so sick i was so close to dying and now it, yeah i kind of try to keep things flowing and like one thing is if i can't really get a good hit on him and if i don't want to like repeat the same heat action i'm just gonna do legend to kind of knock his ass back down on the ground and once his ass is back down on the ground i'm gonna try to do some stuff with beast you know one throw i don't want to repeat too many throws and now this time i'm gonna do this whoa i've never done this before so yeah this move is too op you don't really want to spam it but you know doing it once or twice you know not too bad not too bad and now we're in the third phase and wow, wow, wow okay i'm talking so much that like you know my my, my my lungs are getting like choked you're like oh like you know pump pump and uh it's a little too late to be recording this but yeah for the third phase now things are a little weird like oh this fight frustrated me so much because like okay so i know damaged awano then i know damaged laogwe and now my final boss fight is shibusawa and i couldn't do it the same day i know damaged awano and laogwe and i was so upset about that and then i had to like spend the rest of the next day doing it but i was busy hanging out with family and all that and you know we kind of spent more time doing that and it's just like this fight is such a time commitment especially on legend we have to repeat the entire level over and over and then once you do that you have to repeat awano and lagwe over and over not to no damage them but just to do them to get to this fight and they they're a very big time commit they're a very big time commitment that awano and lagwe fight so it's like you know just like time just keeps going on and on and you know you get to this fight and it's like finally we're here and if you screw it up it just feels like it's so tense because you know it's just like if i fuck it up and like it's just, there's no coming back after we do the entire level over again but you know it's like okay well you you redo the entire level over again Again, and you're here it's like i hate legend like the legend difficulty so much i'm so glad that like lost judgment and yakuza 6 like you know let you retry boss fights on legend difficulty because if i couldn't do that on lost judgment <coughs> i struggled enough with lost judgment as is so if i had to repeat the entire level over again and, oh lost judgment has some very padded out levels that final level if you have to repeat the entire finale of like lost judgment over and over again if you fail like the final boss or something on legend oh Ah, infuriating you feeling like oh i have to keep talking because uh but the video is pretty much practically over here so yeah thank you for watching and uh, i really want to take a break from making yakuza videos i think i'm kind of sick of it i'm kind of getting burnt out or maybe it's just the winter you know sometimes in winter when you start feeling the cold especially in chicago like 
your brain kind of starts becoming numb, especially with the whole daylight savings thing, where it becomes like pitch black at like 5 p.m. Like that just kind of changes your whole like mindset, kind of. It's a lot. It's way more gloomy, and also I just have a lot more homework on me, and also I've just been doing these Roblox videos quite a long time, and Yakuza videos for a long time. And it's just like mm, need to change the pace. You know, I think I'm gonna return to Splinter Cell. I have not released another Splinter Cell video in quite a long while, and yeah, that Splinter Cell video will get like no views, but you know, I kind of want to do another Splinter Cell video so maybe i'll do one of those other videos i've promised but i haven't done anything with yet but yeah besides that thank you for watching i hope this commentary has been well constructed informed and you know informative for those who want to get into roblox zero no damage you can also shout out to the yakuza modding server i put the link to the discord channel in you know the description and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you all then